Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome back to The Huddle, the Review.com's weekly high school sports show. I'm Rob Toter, joined as always by Mike Brown, and it's football wrap-up edition of The Huddle this week. The St. Thomas Aquinas Knights in the Division VI playoffs last week ran into a buzzsaw, losing to the Cuyahoga Heights Redskins, and that ends the season for the Review area teams. But, Mike, let's, let's review the St. Thomas game first. and. Mm-hmm. Just really, we knew we talked last week that it was going to be a tough assignment for St. Thomas mm-hmm. because Kyle Heights came in with a lot of rep and a lot of right. uh, a lot of emotion. So, uh, just you know, Knights just never could get started in that right. game. Right? Yeah, I think they only had what two first downs through. Uh, it was late in the game, Rob. I mean, Kyle Heights has a great defense, and and we knew that when we talked last week because they had beat Kirtland, uh, a team that won three state championships, I believe, in the last five years. They beat Kirtland 21 to nothing. When I saw that score earlier, yeah. I knew St. Tom was going to have a really tough road with Cuyahoga Heights, and it turned out to be that way, unfortunately. Yeah, and, and that's a rematch this week for the regional championship, yeah, sure Kirtland is. and Cuyahoga Heights. Absolutely. What do you think about that match? Boy, that's, well, they say it's hard to beat a team twice in the same season, but when you have a great defense uh, like Cuyahoga Heights has, it's going to keep you in any game. So that I think that'll be a lot closer, but you know, Cuyahoga Heights, I would think, would be the favorite in that game again. Okay. Well, let's talk about this, the review area mm-hmm. season it, kind of in general. The Marlington Dukes went 10-0 and mm-hmm. won the NBC championship. Uh, Louisville uh, struggled a little bit early but really mm-hmm. came on. Their only right. loss was to, to, the, to the Dukes in yeah. the NBC. Mm-hmm. Um, what were this, what, your thoughts on the, uh, the season that just passed and, and what's coming back for next year? Well, we lose some pretty good quarterbacks. We have a couple good quarterbacks coming back. We have uh, DeShields coming back at West Branch. You know, they get a good quarterback there. We lose some really good running backs. You know, uh, Marlington loses uh, Sampson, and uh, West Branch loses Lozier. Alliance will have a lot of talent back next year. I think Alliance will be maybe the favorite going in uh, from all the, the young players that played this year, especially the skill players. The Aviators have a lot coming back uh, next year. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But I, I think this year, Rob, I think Marlington did a great job. You mm-hmm. know, they got the everything out of what they had. They had a great quarterback, great running back. They played good defense almost the entire year. Uh, and, and I thought they got the most out of what they had this year. And it's, it's a shame that, you know, we were talking about this off camera, that the NBC – has gotten smaller in the last 10 years. So if you're one of the big schools in the league, say Alliance or Louisville or Marlington, and you're playing D4 through the year, which you have to play because they're in your league together, it kind of hurts you in the computer. You know, you over course of a season, you're losing a half point or a point multiplied over an NBC season. And I think that's what hurt Louisville this year. You know, if they play the same schedule they did 10 years ago with the same results, they make the playoffs. But, you know, because all those teams were D2 schools back then. Now mm-hmm. half the league's D4, and it makes a difference. And I, I don't know if the league prepares the larger schools as well as it once did. And, and I don't know how you get around that. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I think the schools have done a good job in spite of that. But, you know, there's there's definitely a, uh, you know, it's a small school, big school mix now. It's mm-hmm. not like everybody's the same size anymore. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the Alliance. I think mm-hmm. you hit on a couple of good points. Yeah. I think the Alliance played a lot of young players this year. Really proved they, they could score with anybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, defensively, they, they gave up some points. Right. Uh, but you got to think that's going to get better under Seth Whiting in oh, his second year. Without question. I think uh, Alliance has the – no, and I think with Alliance, I think success will breed more success. The fact that, that he had a 500-year – with a team, I you know, in his first year as head coach, which is tough to do because you're trying to implement your new offense, your defense, and all that stuff. And they finished 500, and I think they were they were playing some of their best football in the second half mm-hmm. of the year. And I and I think that will get more kids to want to come out next year. And and I think, like I said before, I think the skills there, and I think they've got some linemen coming back. Uh, and obviously they've got the great coaching, so I, I think they'll yeah. uh, they'll be yeah. good to go. Yeah, I saw them a couple times this year. I saw them against West mm-hmm. Branch, and they shut out the Warriors yeah. in the second half, which yeah. was really impressive. And mm-hmm. and I saw them against Marlington, and, and they were right there toe-to-toe with right. the Dukes in Week yeah. 10. Mm-hmm. They sure were. And uh, like I said, I think they're going to be – if I had to put my finger on the team to beat next year, I think – They'll be right there. I think Louisville is always there. You know, they always have great talent. They have mm-hmm. federal league depth, I like to say, playing in the NBC, you know, because they, they can come at you with two and three waves of players where mm-hmm. a lot of the other schools can't do that. But uh, mm-hmm. I would say Alliance and Louisville probably would be the teams to beat going into next year. Okay. Let's uh, shift real quickly to the Sebring Trojans. Mm-hmm. They're going to be in a new league next year. Yeah. The ITCL is right. breaking up after this season. Yeah. So some unknowns for the Trojans, some new opponents, some yeah. old opponents coming back. Um, and it's just a continuing rebuilding progress, but there you can see some progress being oh, made there. Oh, without question. You know, I think the thing that, that kind of did Sebring in this year was kind of unfair to them 
because there was some scheduled uh, rotation this last year of the league, and Sebring ended up playing schools much larger. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they're playing East Palestine schools like that, and in any other year, they're probably playing schools more their size, and with the talent they had this year, I think it would have been a much different story for the Trojans. I could have seen them, you know, and even as it was, if they could have won five games in the playoff division they were in this year, I think they could have made the playoffs. But Mm -hmm. because, you know, they were hit with East Palestine, and I I forget who else they played this year, Rob, but they played two or three schools much bigger than they were. And uh, it seemed kind of unfair, but I think it's just the way the league worked out in that last year. Yeah, which is in a nutshell why the league is breaking up. Yeah, right. uh, So I think the the way the new leagues are set up now, I think that's going to to benefit – both Sebring and Western Reserve next mm-hmm. year, they're going to be in the same league. And, of course, right. United's going to be yeah. in the uh, the bigger school league mm-hmm. that, that's splitting off from the ITCL. So it's going to be interesting. I think mm-hmm. 2017, uh, we could have some really good football right. in the area. Mm-hmm. I think it could be a little bit better because I think some we're losing some great players, right. but we're also yeah. – some, some skill guys are coming back mm-hmm. that uh, will be interesting to see. Sure. So it's always going to be interesting. So make sure you check out – We'll be back next year as well, and and Mike and and uh, an announcer to be determined. Uh, we'll be back at you next week with high school basketball coverage. So until then, this is Rob talking, speaking for Mike. We'll talk to you next time.